What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, looking at a new card from Invasion of Venom called Tree Toad. This is very unexpected because it is a rank to exceed that is frog support, which is really cool. But even better than that, the card is absolutely spectacular. It's amazing. Now, before I talk about this uh, card in this video, let me just say I didn't stream yesterday for anybody who's wondering, oh, why didn't you stream on Saturday? Everybody knows I've been sick as a dog all week. I did stream nine hours on Thursday. That almost killed me. And, um, I, yeah, I, I just, all I did was, like, sleep last night, guys. Uh, I'll be back on Tuesday 1,000%. I'm talking Murray's, those, you know, those those uh, Murray episodes where the baby minds are like, I'm 1,000% sure he's the baby. I'm like that. I'll, I'll definitely stream on Tuesday, guys. Anyways. So let's talk about Treat Toad. Um, it's a new card. It's an Exceed. The artwork's actually pretty cool. I like it because it's kind of clever because it shows two frogs on the card. And that's like 99% of the time how you're going to summon this card. And then you see the little... Uh, nah, I used to be a produce manager. I would say that this is probably a Mandarin Orange or as some people call Clementines. It could just be a regular orange, but I'm pretty sure that that's a Mandarin Orange. Um, <clears throat> so let's look at the card. It's rank two, it's aqua, it's water, uh, it's a, it's an Xe obviously. If I told you that there was a frog Xe, you probably just would have been able to guess that it's aqua and water. 2200 attack, which is pretty good because for anybody out there that has played frog monarchs recently, like in the last couple of years, you know that for the most part, you mainly make rank twos. I, I still play around with monarchs every now and then on my stream, like the frog version. And for the most part, you kind of just going to like Gachi and Digusto Phoenix and uh, Gachi's like 800 and Digusto Phoenix is like 15 so 2200 is actually pretty legit for rank twos <clears throat> for for rank twos anyways zero defense which is irrelevant for the most part um it requires two level two aqua type monsters to make which again is pretty much all the frogs whether it be swap frog or dupe frog or um rodent totem which isn't a frog but whatever um it'd be kind of cool if they brought back substance toad now it's he's not a, a level two but whatever it'd be kind of cool it'd get you your swap frog from the deck effect number one during the standby phase <clears throat> You can detach one XC material from this card. Special summon one frog monster from your deck except Frog the Gem. Always hating on Frog the Gem. Okay, so what's cool about this is the fact that A, it has natural synergy with Treeborn Frog. Let's say that you had enemy controller in your hand and nothing else and you just had to get through one big ass monster on your opponent's side of the field. Like, oh, let's just say an Ignister. You could actually use this effect. You could summon your Treeborn Frog. You could Econ in the standby phase, take their Ignister, and then your Treeborn Frog would come back. All this would be done in the standby phase. Uh, that also means... <clears throat> Natural target that I would assume that most people are going to go for is Swap Frog because uh, Swap Frog not only does it summon itself, but then uh, you can like send a Treeborn straight into the graveyard because its effect will activate too. Effect number two is the whole, whole, whole reason to play this card. It is really good. Once per turn, if your opponent activates a spell trap card or a monster effect, uh, you can send one Aqua monster you control or have in the, or excuse me, or in your hand to the graveyard, negate that activation and destroy that card. Oh, but it gets better. <laughs> Afterwards, you can set the destroyed card on your side of the field. This is a quick effect. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so this effect is ridiculous. We talked yesterday about how good it is to have an Infernity Barrier, which this card obviously has a built-in Infernity Barrier. But what's even better than that is an Infernity Barrier on legs, something like uh, Apex Avion. But what's even better than that is an Infernity Barrier on legs that you don't have to worry about drawing. Think of uh, Evolz or Lagia, something like that. This card is essentially like Lagia on crack. Um, Yes, you do have to pay a cost to get your Infernity Barrier effect, but, like, not only can you negate all three types of cards, but it's crazy. You get to set your opponent's card, too. So, just hypothetically, your opponent activates, I don't know, Twin Twister or, let's just say, uh, the Monarch Stormforth. You can negate that, and you can set the card as well. So, and it is optional, so don't, you know, don't be like, oh, cap, but if you set the card, it's going to mess up Treeborn Frog. It is 100% optional. If you negate a monster, I would, like, 99% of the time just take the the monster unless you have like five monsters on board and you can't just take the monster i don't even care if it's a bad monster just take it like why wouldn't you and effect number two actually works with effect number one because if you don't have any other monsters to pitch from your hand or on your field well technically you'll always have this guy you can pitch he can pitch himself you know what i mean so this guy should always take down at least one card with them but if you didn't you could obviously in your standby phase 
Activate effect one. You could get a swap frog from your deck to the field, activate its effect. Then in main phase one, you could bounce it to your hand and bam, there's your aqua to pitch. So obviously effect number one and two, Kind of work in unison. Effect number three, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one water monster in your graveyard. Add that monster uh, to your hand. So for starters, whatever you use to exceed with this is obviously something you could just get back. So, you know, unless you're somehow using like some type of fire aquas, I don't think those exist, but they could. You know, you could obviously just get back whatever you use to summon Tree Toad. You could just get it back to your hand. I also know people were kind of messing around with like water monarchs uh, a little while ago. It was, well, not a lot of, not a lot of people, but I see it on DN, you know, maybe like a bunch of like Mobiuses and Moulin Glacier. You could even throw like Sea Lancer in the deck. I mean, just generally all of those cards are options. I kind of wish Deep Sea Diva was a level two and also an Aqua, not a Sea Serpent, because that would be really good um, for this card. But anytime this card goes to the graveyard, it pays for itself. So we always like cards that pay for itself. And also, it's kind of weird. You don't have to actually send it from the field to the graveyard. It just says if this card is sent. So if there was some way that you could send this from your extra deck to the to the graveyard, it would actually trigger. I don't think that's going to happen, but if you find a way to do it, I mean, there you go. So overall, I would say this card is fantastic. Um, basically, it's like a better version of Infernity Barrier. Um, it plus ones during the standby phase. By the way, this is either standby phase, not just your standby phase, your opponent's. And then plus uh, the, the, the last effect, it pays for itself. Like literally, what more could you want out of a legacy support? Like this is one of the most practical things I could think of. Almost makes me wonder why Konami hasn't done this for some of the other decks that came out during 5Ds or GX era, but weren't really extra deck based ones like Gravekeepers. Actually, Gravekeepers are original series. Like, I mean, why haven't Gravekeepers just gotten like a, a rank four? You know what I mean? You could throw, you know, Sinju in there. I know that they're pendulum based, but come on, you know, like if they're, if they can make a great card like this for frogs, they sure as hell can do it for other decks. So let me know what you guys think. I think this card is amazing. Like a plus. I mean, if you're running frogs, run at least two copies of this. Thank you guys for watching as always. <coughs>